What's up, witches and warlocks? Puma Fist here. So today we're gonna talk about everybody's favorite topic a little bit more. Isom. <laughs> All right. So uh, I just got a couple of questions. Uh, maybe some of the viewers here can uh, can uh, answer these for me. So Isom is a retired superhero, right? Uh, how does he afford that gigantic fucking ranch? I mean, he's got like dozens of employees, you know, uh, and he's he's got an Olympic size like track running around it. I guess for training, maybe he's super. Maybe he's got super speed that we don't know about. I don't know. That's just an Eric July self insert because he used to run track. Uh, that's really all that is. But I'd like to know where Avery's getting all this money from. I mean, when we've got, you know, like, super rich characters, you know, like Tony Stark and Bruce Wayne and shit like that, I mean, they tell us how they got their money, you know? Uh, so I'm just curious how Avery's got this gigantic fucking ranch, this operation, after being a super, a retired superhero. Would his superheroes get paid a lot of money in this world? Uh, we, we don't know. You know, how much is the uh, Alpha Core getting paid? Uh, I guess I guess maybe we'll find out at some point. Does the Alpha Core all own mansions and gigantic ranches too? Uh, <laughs> uh, another thing, um, man, this is funny. I want to talk about the uh, the the trading cards, the uh, the Dokuman postcards. Yeah, they're not even trading cards. They won't they won't fit in a sleeve, and you can't put them in a binder. They're too big for that. Good work, Eric July, for making something that people can't uh, collect properly. Uh, yeah, going on these cards a little bit. Uh, first of all, they're not trading cards. Everybody who bought them got the exact same cards, so there's nothing to trade. There's no rares. Uh, you know, it's not like a random booster pack you're getting that's got different cards in it. Maybe you'll get lucky and get one of the uh, the super rare, one, rare ones. So, yeah, this is not a trading card. There's There's nothing to it other than a, a cash grab. And supposedly they're supposed to give information on the back. And I've, I've read the, uh, the back of the, uh, the Avery card, the Isom card, and it doesn't tell you anything about his fucking powers. Is I don't know how he got his powers or what they are, but maybe we'll find out. So a lot of people bought these fucking cards thinking, okay, this is going to explain stuff that should have been in the story, and it still doesn't. So why the fuck are people forking over $100 for these fucking things? They're worthless, people. They're worthless. If you can't see that, I mean, Jesus Christ. I've said it before and I'll say it again. How many times are you people going to keep stepping on the same fucking rake? Uh, this whole thing is a fucking cash grab. It's been from the start. Uh, and, uh, and, and we still don't know anything about these fucking characters. Going back to that, we don't know shit about any of the characters. They're just plopped into this fucking world and doing stuff, and we don't know fucking why. We don't know what their fucking background is. Nothing. This is not a good start for a fucking comic book, especially one where you're trying to launch an entire universe. We need parameters. We need the rules set up. We need to know what the fuck is going on. You can't just make shit up on the fly. And uh, uh, I saw a couple of reviewers uh, saying uh, something that's very interesting. Uh, it's uh, Eric July doesn't know what the fuck's going on himself and he's just waiting for the fans to come up with fucking theories and then he'll work that shit into the other books because he can't think of anything for himself. Uh, man, holy shit, people. Uh, we'll see We'll see how well Isom number two does. I'm betting there's going to be a gigantic drop-off uh, in sales for Isom number two. I don't think people are really that invested in this book. They got into it because they like Eric July and they want to support the culture war. They want to fight the big two. Uh, but that's that's where the loyalty lies. It's it's not it's not about a, this being a good book. Uh, it's, it's just people like desperate to feel like they're part of a fucking group that's, uh, you know, fighting the fucking culture war. Anyway, that's my ramblings for today. Let me know what y'all think. Boom a fist out.